okay, it seems like only not even a week ago I put a video about 2D to 3D and certainly now they have a second model which is I mean it's a jaw dropping look on this so I took my photo I uploaded here and this is preview and you can see look on these details look on this model you know we're going with this type of the progress less than a year we probably will have a very high resolution of fully rigged models created just from single image well but l let me show how you can do this as well beside all of the links to this resource and everything when i'm showing you will be down below so you can try by yourself first let's go to our original source and right here you can see it was a release when i 3d2 and you can actually install in your machine and you can install in a windows platform because original was just for the linux and i spent about four or five hours yesterday i finally installed on the windows original platform wasn't enabled so i end up uh, rewrite the scripts and do a lot of stuff so make it work as well reinstall specifically pyrotorch i'll go in details and this explain for those who are interested but honestly i don't think it's yet worth headache to installing um, even they have it somewhat for comfy UI, but it's kind of, well, you'll see what problem with this can be very shortly. I will say, wait, wait about a couple of three days till more solid installations come, and then you can put it on your comfy UI. But for those who in patience or just interested in how it's work, let's look more in details. Right here, you can come to this in a GitHub repository. And if we scroll a little bit down below, you'll notice in the abstract, we can see what is actual model work. And to me, it was very impressive in a way how they approach to this. Notice what we have here. In our view, we have it importance. This is, we have it separation. We have it uniform importance on the details. It is why when I uploaded my model and created, I noticed how well it's great fingers, details, Look on the shoelaces, it's even create this, it's amount of details and quality, how it went. As well, it's recognized ways need increase amount of polygons, so it is very dynamically handle model creation. And we can see right here how it's great cross attention. It's a bit, as well, if we go down to the noise transformer, so it does utilize the noising, which is provide uh, higher details better quality well of course you're paying with a price it's take a little bit longer time and it required a little bit more vram for this but result is stunning and another part you can see right here it's a texture synthesizer actually when you go to install you'll notice you'll have a two kind of module one you'll have it your shape generation and another you have its text synthesizer shape generations it's easy to install relatively just actually one click it's very easy to go texture synthesizers that was giving a little bit hard time on creation well we'll look on this in a second but right here you can notice and it's creating it's baking materials if you need it creating i mean texture is very good again well let's refer to this and you can see right here look on this textures is incredible of course you can go and preview the models that already they have there so we can go just create one let's go to generate shapes and texture and while it's uh, generating, we'll go back to our model. Okay, so what we needed to install if you want to play around, if you are on a Windows plot, then I will recommend you for you to go to this Windows 3D portable, links down below, and you can run just this interface by itself. Uh, very easy installation, it's just downloaded zip. Most important this, this is you need to have the MVC with CUDA in a special instruction, so it's need to install it. And PyroTorch need work with specific what NVIDIA CUDA library you install it. For the if you have it questions, you can easily follow these instructions here, and we'll just open a new link, and you can follow this. Also, I'll cover this in a previous video, so be sure if you have it more questions, check that video where we gone over this how it work. But in my case, when I start working with the PyroTorch, I notice that I had a two different versions of PyroTorch install it. I have a different versions of NVIDIA CUDA developer tool install it. It's a lot of developing, a lot of installing with this. And that was required for me to have the right versions of the Python. And then when you start compiling, you need to have a Microsoft C++ build tool with specific setup for 
C compiler and everything so you can run. Um, so this is my journey. I went, follow the instructions as they're going here. And you can see they have it actually not bad instruction to follow as long as errors happening. And as I'm going to over these errors, I find out, oh, this does not work or this mostly that portion right here, which give it actually rasterizer. This is give it some problems and I could actually run for you and showing. And after this texture gen, that one, this is two, which has created a lot of problems, at least for me. And from reading, I noticed a lot of people have it as the same. And that is what required for me to install uh, 312 Python. So you want to be sure you have the right version of Python, install it 312 right here. Um, then you probably want to be sure you have it right version of the CUDA developer kit installed on yours. Then you need to be sure your PyTorch match the dev kit you install it because otherwise if they're different, the compiler will come and says we are, it's not compatible. And uh, also if you develop in some case they was using, at least for me, because before when Windows wall, they was in G++, so I need to install support for this and create properly environment. As well, when you install Microsoft C compiler, if you don't have it, your environment stuff properly, then you need to run dev tool and run from this environment to compile everything. Honestly, um, it, <laughs> if you ask me, does it worth? No, I will say wait at least a couple, three days till it's um, better tool develop. And they do have it comfy UI and I end up, you know, launching everything. However, you notice right here, some nodes did not recognize and this is before Windows was so it's for the Linux did not and when I rebuild them connections was lost between nodes and the code I actually build because I end up it's end up compiler correctly it took us some time it took some time for me to go through all of this you know rewrite a bunch of codes there so they can work properly with um, from Unix to the Windows platform rewrite some stuff because replacing some compilers one on another so it was taking a little bit time but i did make it to work on my machine but it took me honestly uh four hours and it's not just a script it's because i do a lot of developing on this machine and my honestly my environment was messy okay so and i need to remove a bunch of older version of php remove some pyrotorch install properly a uh, version of CUDA so it can work anyway it was uh, fun journey, but honestly, just wait. I will give it a little bit time and I will say just wait a little bit. Oh, by the way, this, see, there you go. It's take this card. Look on this, how well it did. Wow. That is just what we generated. Look at this. It's a perfect. Before the one model, <laughs> before video, when we tried first model, it was wow. You know for this time but this is almost commercial ready because you can take this model save it and 3d print it actually it's what i'm going to do i'm going to try just for fun 3d print it see how it will come up but it's incredible well also um beside everything else you can follow these steps if you want to try it be sure you're downloading properly models here and uh, as well if you scroll a little bit below, you'll find in the news they have a good link, link like to the Windows. This is installation tool. So if you run on a Windows, you can follow here and install it. Just download it one big zip file. It's about will be 1.7 gig. I think open it's about two gigs. Um, you need run uh, batch files. It's named batch one, two and three. First is where is compiler. That is where uh, at least for me, a lot of problems happening, have it errors coming one after another. So it's new be work with this, but also second one is downloading models. Another one, so you can do try the Hyundai 3D wrap. And of course, 3D packets, what we was using, if you remember in previous videos. So if you install this, um, my assumption that most likely because it's a modification of the model and everything and integrations, we, um, end up downloading just models and maybe will include few nodes and pre-compile for the textures so you can install on windows just simply as a 
updating your Comfy UI 3D Park, most likely. But we'll see in a couple, three days. Um, I did have it a very temptation to upload my stuff on a GitHub for you to access, but problem is I'm not planning to upkeep it. And otherwise, it will just get frustrations for you if you have a dead code on a GitHub. So I can say as other ones things, I will probably wait a little bit for the code update. And next video, we're going to dive in on our local machine with Comfy UI to see how it's work. But for now, just try this. See what you think. Let me know and we'll see you next time.